Hi, have you ever wondered what is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. You must have seen that HDR icon in your mobile phone or in a DSLR camera. But before we look into HDR, you should first understand what is Dynamic Range. So Dynamic Range is basically the difference between the brightest and the darkest part of an image. You must have realized at times when you click a photograph, you see the dark areas to be much darker and bright areas to be extensively brighter. Therefore, you cannot see much details in the photograph taken. That means there was very less information present in the photograph. This happens due to underexposure and overexposure of the picture. As most of us don't have expensive cinema grade cameras in our pockets with very high dynamic range which could rectify this problem to a large extent. There was a technique that was introduced known as HDR or high dynamic range which tries to correct this issue of overexposed and underexposed images. HDR helps make image look more natural and truer to life by revealing more details in the dark and the bright areas of an image. This happens by exposing the image multiple times and then combining them to compensate the limited dynamic range of our cameras. So what actually happens when you take a HDR photo is that your camera clicks multiple photos, mostly 3 or in case of high-end cameras up till 20 images at various exposures or we can say at various brightness levels. It takes the first image with the normal exposure as before, another with increased exposure so that it can capture more details out of the dark areas. And the last photo it takes underexposed so that more details can be taken out of the bright areas. Now with the help of a software, these photographs are then combined. What will happen now is that you will see an optimized image, most likely as you would see with your naked eye. Now in the final processed image, you can see great details in all the areas of the picture. The bright and the dark areas will be evenly lit. Do you know that the human eye, through adjustment of the iris and other methods, adjust constantly to adapt to a broad range of luminance present around us? The brain continuously interprets this information so that we can see in a wide range of light conditions. Eyes are the best cameras that we have. So now the question arises, when to use HDR? HDR should be used when the subject or the picture that you want to capture is having extreme high levels, too dark and too bright in the same frame. You can also use HDR to make dull images appear vivid and crisp as this technique brings out colors which make images feel pleasing. Just for a side note, sometimes when there are too many colors or lights present in the frame, with HDR the images may appear a bit unnatural. Now let us see when not to use HDR. You should not use HDR while capturing a moving object or a motion. Because as we stated earlier that with HDR on, your camera takes multiple images and then combines them. So if you are capturing a moving subject, you will get a blurred photo when the HDR software finally combines the photos taken. Now let's see how to use the HDR. As HDR mode captures multiple images, the major point to consider is to keep the camera stable and wait for at least 1 to 2 seconds after clicking the picture. This could be more depending upon the equipment that you are using and the environment that you are shooting in. So, do let us know in the comments below for any questions that you might have about HDR. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch more such informative videos on our channel.